Good morning, friends. I'm so glad you decided to join me this morning. My name is Miss Pam, and I'm from Imagine Children's Museum. We're going to be talking about bees this week, and I thought maybe you might like to learn a little bit about bee body parts. Bees have body parts just like you and I do. They have a head. Where's your head? You're right. They have legs. Where are your legs? You're right, down here. Exactly. They have eyes. Where's your eyes? Right there. Exactly. They also have other body parts that you and I don't have. So, they have their head, just like you and I do. They have an upper part of their body that is called a thorax. Can you say that? Thorax. Yeah, yeah. And they also have another part of their body that's called an abdomen. That's just like our tummy, the abdomen. Can you say that? Abdomen. So they have three body parts, head, thorax, abdomen. What other body parts do they have that you and I don't have? You're right. They have wings right here and here. There's four wings that they have, and they have six legs because they're an insect. Six legs. How many legs do you have? Two, exactly. They also have these antenna right here. And those antenna are just like our nose. It helps them to smell their way back home. What kinds of smells do you like to sniff? All sorts of good things. The bees also have another part of their body that's really important. It's called the proboscis. It's a hairy tongue that comes out of their out where their mouth is, and it's like a straw, and it sucks up the nectar of the flower. Then they can take it back to the honey hive, and they can make their honey that way. So they have head, thorax, abdomen, exactly, and wings, antenna, proboscis, exactly. Would you like to learn a song with me? It's called Head, Thorax, Abdomen, and we can sing it together. Would you like to do that? Perfect. Let's see if we can sing our bee body part song. It's called Head, Thorax, Abdomen, and you sing it to head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Are you ready? It's so fun. Here we go. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Wings, antenna, proboscis too. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Good work. Should we try it one more time a little bit faster? All right, here we go. Oops, here we go. Are you ready? Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Wings, antenna, proboscis too. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. So I have a project for you. Are you ready for a project? Well, we want to keep in mind our B body parts. And I've got a project where we get to make the B body parts and put them together. This is something you can do at home. Today I'm going to be working with Play-Doh and some little Chanel wires but and some paper. But you can work with paper and pencil and some scissors and glue and a marker if you want and make your B body parts just along the way with it like this or you can make it with Play-Doh like I'm going to do today. So I have got one small piece of Play-Doh. I've got how many wings does the bee have? Four. One, two, three, four. And how many legs? Six legs. So I'm going to set my straws. You can use straws and toothpicks for the legs if you want at home. I'm going to use Chanel wires. So we've got six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six legs. And how many antenna? 
One, two, two. Mm -hmm. One, two, and the last one is a proboscis. Exactly. That's one proboscis. Exactly. So we're going to take, I'm going to take my little Play-Doh ball and I'm going to break it into three balls and make each of those balls round. And I'm going to see if I can get them stuffed back together. Head, thorax, abdomen. Are you ready? You can do it along with me. Get your Play-Doh. You can draw your circles on paper and cut them out and glue them all in a row on your paper. Just like that. So I've got head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. There we go. You're going to use your thumbs and your fingers to kind of pinch it all back together real good. Head, thorax, abdomen. All right. Now, what's next? He needs some legs. You're right. How many legs were there going to be? Six because he's an insect. Exactly. A lot of the bees are girls. Yeah. Most of the bees are female. So we're going to put in six legs. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exactly. What else is our bee missing? How about wings? How many wings? Four, two, three, four. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Wings. Antenna. How many antenna? All right, two. We're going to put them up off the top of his head. And I just bent them a little bit so they look kind of like the antenna. And what's the last one? Proboscis. Exactly. There you go. So you have got your bee that is ready to go and look for some nectar in the flowers. There you go. Our time together is just about done. Thanks for joining me today and learning about bees with along with me. I look forward to seeing you next time.